welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. Yeah, me. RJ. All right. Me. Lovely little me. <laughs> well, we have got a busy day, so this is probably going to be a short one. We have our Spring on the Farm event, correct? By the way, welcome to Straw Family Farm. And by the way, it's Saturday. It, it is. It's Saturday. So we're going to start in the chapel with Genesis 126, and this is the verse on which we founded the entire farm. It says, in God's and God said, let us make man in his image after his likeness, oh, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over all every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And if you'll notice, it says dominion over. Dominion means you live in harmony with, not dominate. And so some of the biblical um, interpretations have changed that. We do not rule over. We do not um, dominate. We are in dominion with. And that's how we founded that whole thing is on our old logo. And we haven't put it on our new logo. I have no idea why. We should. Maybe I'll introduce that old logo. Right? Yeah. It's a little cap. It's hand drawn. So, yeah. Anyway. All right, we hope you enjoyed knowing that that's how we founded the farm and that's where we stand. So, today we're in dominion with the animals, correct? Yep. And the barn stalls, what do we got going on? By the way, he hit the Easter candy sales. Although he still hasn't finished his Christmas candy canes, but hey. <laughs> this is like a little Pop Rocks sucker. It's a sucker and then you stick it in a little, show it over there. It, it's a popping candy with a lolly and it's got pop rocks down in there and a lollipop i don't know what flavor though <laughs> oh yes taking candy from a baby <laughs> what was i thinking okay so uh my coffee's going we've been up already got some <laughs> <It's work popping>. done. <laughs> yes we can we kind of figured the pop rocks would be popping I love Pop Rocks. <laughs> He's just going to eat the Pop Rocks and then the lollipop. Don't swallow them until after they pop. Don't pop inside your dummy and blow you up. <laughs> okay. Enough silliness. Come on, let's get on with it. In the barn stalls. This week, we've had babies, right? Mm -hmm. Petunia. Who else? Pistol. Can you hear that? Well, I can. I don't know if they can, but... Can you guys hear this? Okay, get your mouth away from the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. Seriously, he just did that. Yup. Okay, so we had... What did Pistol have? Single or doubles? Pistol had twins. Okay. And Petunia had? A single. Okay. And... Who else had anything? Um... Do we have any other babies this week? We had a Cotswold baby, but I don't know. Is it a... April 2nd. Yeah, that's this week. So yeah. we had... Cherry had a baby. Cherry had a baby. Um, the Cotswold was last week. Oh. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, we've had four babies this mm -hmm. week. Right? We've got one more Shetland to go, and then we just have the Cotswold. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, we did have one thing that... Um, I don't even know if I can do it. I'm getting knocked in my stomach now. Um, one of our livestock guardian dogs, kid, the youngest, um, we ran into a problem with turning him loose, so we're slower to turn him loose um, at night. And his problem was that he didn't have an off switch. Like, he'd go after things, um, the coyotes and stray dogs, and he wouldn't stop and know when to come back, correct? Right. And we are pretty sure that played a part in the fact that we lost him being hit by a train this week. So, um, it is what it is. Um, we're going to have to replace him. Hank and Jethro are no young pups, and I've got to get some pups in here um, in training. 
God will give us the right dog. We just, we thought it was Kit, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So he was doing really good. Okay, moving on. This is supposed to be a joyous day. So, mending fences. What all have we been doing around this place? We got in new pens. Mm -hmm. Yep. Took me months, but I managed to snag them for free. Correct. So, that's a good thing. Um, will you stop it? Nobody wants to look up your nose. Gross. Put your nose down. Um, quit your wiggle on the table. Oh. Man, I'm griping today. Quit. Nobody wants to see up your nose. Nobody wants to see in your mouth. Nobody wants to see <laughs> Dude, I'm just griping. Um, it's your fault. I'll explain why here in a minute. It's not. Um, it's not. Yes, it's it not. Yes, it's it not. Yes, it is. It's not. It's too. Stop it. It's too. Okay. Anyway, you're the kid. We all blame the kid. It's a cat's fault. You can't argue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rascal, you just went under the bus. Yep. And it's so, not even rolling yet. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so we cleaned up the barn. Uh, got the new pens. And what we did is our fair building was cleaning out and got a new set of pens. Right? Mm -hmm. Dad's trying to build a fire. And if he gets any louder at it, we're not going to be able to hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just... He's terrible at it, too. He is. It's going to take him forever. We'll um, get done, and I'll go start the fire after we get done. Yep. Um, can you grab me a cup of coffee real quick while I tell him about these pins? All right, let me just send my arm out there. Well, you can go. I don't have bionic arms, Mom. They don't just shoot You can use your bionic legs and walk around the bar and go get me a cup of coffee. Oh, no. Never mind. Dad's doing it. See, look. I do have biotic arms. They're called bad. <laughs> anyway, um, <coughs> shaking the camera. So, our fair building redid their thing. Quit shaking me. Stop shaking, period. Let me get through this story. We've got things to do. You see, place to no, no place to go, but still. Okay, shake yourself. There you go. Um, anyway. The fair building redid the pens and we did the petting zoo last year for the fair. And they had them sitting out when we were there and I told the manager of the fair building and the president of the fair board, I said, when you get ready to get rid of those, I want the ones that have the arcs over them. And they said, nobody wants those. Why would you want those? And I said, because we do a petting farm at the Straw Family Farm and I actually plan on building a run on this side, kind of around them. If I can get them, you know, I, I build an awning over them. I'm good with that. And uh, so, anyway, and ham hawed and ham hawed, and then somebody else wanted some of the pins, so they decided they were going to set a price. They didn't want it to be too high over scrap metal, but then one guy ended up deciding that the school was my alarm you're going not off. up yet mommy you gotta go get your alarm your alarm's going go, off. go shut it off how do i do that come on go shut it off um uh, anyway they decided that the schools um one of the schools wanted some and they wouldn't charge the school so if they're not going to charge the school we're an education farm thank you and they decided that they're not going to charge us because we're educating children too so, we ended up getting our pins for free. I'm back! Did you miss me? No, I finally got through the story. So, Tuesday... You um, my feelings. <laughs> Tuesday, we went and picked them up. Put them on the flatbed and run them home. And they're being used this year um, for a straw on the uh, farm on the prairie. Spring on the farm. Spring on the farm. Whatever this event is. <laughs> Our <laughs> annual opening. Will you stop your crying and blubber? You said you didn't miss me. I never miss you. I enjoy the peace and quiet when you're gone. <gasps> I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that went real well, didn't it? You're just going to yell at me for leaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. In the Yarn Farms, Daisy event, right? 
going to throw my sucker in the dirt and then pick it back up. Go back to Um, nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. I'm, I'm going to eat some worms. worms. He used to sing that whenever anybody would get on to him. <laughs> Short ones, fat ones. <laughs> Anyway, okay, no more worm song. Um, what are we moving on in the yarn farm? We've got our event today. We've got some really cool things planned. I've got, I did my OHCE presentation, and um, then I've got some people interested in an adult spin in in the evening. We're gonna do an all night spin in for adult. You're not an adult. Don't even look to come. Anyway, we're just going to play with fiber that night in the barn. Uh, set up a bunch of tables, some drum carters, spinning wheels, um, have some snacks, and that's it. So, I told the ladies they're welcome to, to uh, drink wine but if you bring a bottle of wine or you're caught drinking wine I get your keys and they the keys come in the house whereas the event is out there Lee and RJ will um, be in charge of the keys because we won't be in trouble for people drinking and driving it just that's the way if you're gonna drink you don't get to drive and yes our philosophy is one glass of wine is one too many when you're driving so Anyway, um, okay. It's Rascal. Is it Rascal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Tilly is in the other cat's box. Look. So. What's he attacking? The chair, like, it got him on my sweat. Oh, no, my coat. Sorry, my coat. What's the matter, Rascal? Come here. Yeah, get, get, get. Come His on. kitten that he plays with is out of action because she's in with her babies. And the other one is very pregnant, so she's yes. not playing. Which, I don't know where she's at, because she's right that's here. Tilly. Okay, well, throw Tilly out of her bed. <laughs> it, it Who needs a big cat in a cat bed? It, it's a huge... RJ, get Tilly and show him. Yeah. Right. This, this, is, this is Tilly. Tilly is like <laughs> how many pounds? Oh, he's about as big as Rascal. Yeah. And Rascal's 13. I bet you Tilly outweighs Rascal. Yeah. See, okay. There's Tilly, because Tilly's solid muscle. Yes. He's a good kitty, though. Aren't yeah, you? He is. He just I've seen little be... kids walking around and got him like this, and carry him around with his back feet dragging him around, and then a parent tried to pet him, and he hit his saddle. He does not like men at all. No, like He barely likes men. me. Yeah. You're all right. He's got a tick on his ear, Mom. Uh, I'm not going to get it. I'm he, not going to get it. No, He'll kill me. <laughs> It'll kill well, us. Tilly is not a nice he has that tick, tick on his ear. Right there. See it? Good luck, Dad. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Mom, should we call the funeral home and make free arrangements? Nope. It's fine. Okay, um, okay so where are we at? Hmm. Oh. Dad about lost a finger. Anyway. Don't forget to put the cat outside now that you pissed him <laughs> off. No, I'm going to leave him in for you. <laughs> Save me, Mommy. He likes you. <laughs> I'll take care of him. Come here, big guy. No, no, don't call him over here. Tilly, come here, big boy. Big boy. Hey, you're all right. Big He's boy. getting okay. He's happy. Bring him here. Come here, big boy. All right, RJ. <gasps> RJ. Um. He's got me. He's got me. No, he. Come here, Tilly. Tilly. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. Hey. He really got me. He, oh he my really leg! He doesn't want to be over here. He's like, nope. He doesn't even want mom. <laughs> okay. Uh, he where got are we? my leg. Oh my leg. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> I'm dying over here, mom. You are not. It was okay, nice let's knowing get you guys while I lived. Come on, let's finish this. It was uh, nice knowing you. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, Drover. The oh my leg thing is if you ever have kids, and there is an Oklahoma author. Who writes Hank the Cow Dog books? If you had, even if you're an adult, they're hilarious. Okay, Hank is what our dog is named after, and he's a top guard security. Drover is the pup that's always with him that's supposed to be head of security too, and 
Anytime there's trouble, Drover just starts yelling, Oh, my leg, my leg, my leg. So that's where RJ gets it. Come on. Okay. I, I died. I can't call <laughs> now. All right. So, yarn farm we did. What comes up next? In the field? Yep. It snowed last night, folks. <laughs> yes, and it's RJ's fault. He shot off his mouth and said, Wouldn't it be cool to have our first ever white spring on the farm? <laughs> well... It's not so, as cool as you thought it would be, is it? Well, technically, it really is cool out there, but hey, <laughs> I'd stand for it to be nice and warm. Okay, so, um, nothing going on. Um, I planted some flowers, some, uh... Usually a coffee stir, Mom. No, thank you. I planted my stuff in the greenhouse. The greenhouse is in the barn, and it's not getting as warm as it should. It is condensating, so, um, I did have one little... Thing that has a little bit of mold on it, but I sprayed it with water and the mold went away. So I just rubbed it and thought fiber for the plants. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. All right. What's after in the fields? In the farm packs, right? Mm -hmm. What's been going on? I did my OHCE presentation. Mm -hmm. There was a little bit of guff with that. Um, I ended up just going down and then doing my presentation and coming back. Mm -hmm. um, what else? You had farm visits, right? Okay, farm visits are in full swing. So, all right, unless, I guess, I started a second job this week. Mm -hmm. I have two jobs, not really. But okay. technically. Technically, I have two jobs. Um, I clean for a gentleman and his mom. I started out cleaning for the mom, and the gentleman lost his housekeeper this week and he called and he goes would you mind doing for me so on monday and friday i work for the mom and then on tuesday and thursday i work for um the gentleman that means i get sunday wednesday and saturday off work so if you guys want to schedule a great visit schedule on those days <laughs> so on an okay one you can go monday tuesday, tuesday thursday friday Yep, and I am actually making sure um, that RJ m makes enough. He made almost enough with his farm visits this week alone to pay for his roping. He came up, what, $60 short? Yep. And because he also took care of the horses when the barrier was here and that kind of stuff. So it's pretty much even and out, correct? Um, he plans oh. on using the farm visit money and the any that he wins to keep his roping going so he can day job pick up day jobs on wednesdays right mm -hmm. so it, some people might get a little upset but it's just the way it's going to have to be most of the people that call him with the exception of one or two will understand he's working so all right anything else happening in the farmhouse Mm -hmm. What? Oh, I got oh. attacked by a cat, Mom. Hey, oh, grab those cute. things. Grab those things over there. Real quick. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta show them. This year, our, um... I gotta show them. Look at these guys. Crystals. Eggs. Look we aren't gonna do that. Um, okay. So, this year, I noticed that my spring and Easter decorations were really sad. I haven't bought any Easter decorations since RJ was little, and I want to decorate for Easter. Not the entire house, just in here where we are. So I picked that up, and it was 75% off, and then I got this one that's 75% off. Mm -hmm. And the little bunny with the two I'll get things. Now. Hold your horses. Okay. And I plan on, well, hang on, go get the other two things. I picked this up for 50% off in a different store, but it's solid wood, and I just think it's so cute. I have no idea why this intrigues me. There's a baby bunny and a big bunny, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so those two right there and this, put, it, put them up here. No, 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 okay, over here like this. And it's going to be on my long bar with a table runner underneath it. Um, I just think that'd be cute. So, uh, but I am going to start decorating the bar. 
decorating the top of this and kind not going as overboard as we go with Christmas, but I definitely want this Thank kitchen. God. <laughs> Thank God, he said. Uh, I definitely want to do some spring stuff, some Easter stuff, maybe with just the seasons. You know what I mean? Dad, how's that fire going? It's kind of chilly in here. Mm. A little spark. You better go soak the fire. All right, let me ask you this, Dad. If the fire is going, why is the screen to the fire about five foot away? <laughs> no worries. It's little enough. It won't go. No anywhere. worries. We're recording, but if it goes up, the fire's over there. We're good. He does have flame in there. So, all right. Anyway, RJ, come on. Let's finish this off. So There's today, yeah. he actually got one going, guys. We got to record that part. No. Anyway, um, so today is our event. We will let you guys know how that goes. It is what it is. Um, this year, we've changed it to include what? Do we have vendors this year? Huh? I sent out a survey after we did um, last year's. And if you didn't follow us back then, um, the complaints that we got. Yeah, no, wait, I can't see it. Quit. Okay, anyway, I sent out a survey afterwards to the vendors, and we got complaints like there was poop on the pasture. They knew they were going to be on the pasture. It's a farm. Um, I, I don't know what to tell them. You know? Um, poop. I know. I guess he wanted me to rake the whole thing. Um, not enough people shopping. Okay, I can't make them shop. You know, it is what it is. So, um, we had two people that, because their booths were sponsored by No What I Can, um, if they were local, No What I Can paid for their booth. Um, which as long as they weren't a business i think was the criteria it had to be an individual and they couldn't have a business license um they said a business could sponsor itself so um most of ours were individuals some of this free booth space they didn't bother show up one of which being a, a very nice ice cream truck that was supposed to be here <coughs> so we didn't have any snacks or anything did we so, you know what? I'm not doing vendors this year. This year we're doing things like an old Sunday potluck. And next year, I think what I'm going to do is add box, a box auction to it. Um, and what it is, is a box auction, if, you, if you're of the older generation. I mean, our I church used to do it. No. Um, our church used to do it. And every family coming would make a box lunch and then it was auctioned off if you wanted your own box back you had to pay to have it um you decorated the the one thing that you got was some people did baskets some people decorated their boxes but you made it look um enticing and the fun of it was you didn't know what was inside unless you made that box so it's kind of like a little auction and you auction off the lunches and then your family gets to go eat the lunch that it purchases from another family who's attending the event or yours if you're scared to try somebody else's food <laughs> my mother used to do that she refused to, she would bid ours it didn't matter mm -mm, she would not eat somebody else's food she was scared it'd be bad <laughs> so yeah um i think we're gonna try that because it's just like an old-fashioned sunday school um fundraiser type thing so this year we added spoon and egg race right what else come on that's Sack the one race. where you hold the <clears throat> this the egg on the spoon we have about six dozen eggs and the chickens will clean them up so i don't have to do anything it's outside um if they're not frozen <laughs> right uh, yep. uh, so sack race and the spoon race. yeah we're gonna do a sack race with feet <coughs> And then we're going to do a three-legged race. I have a sh an old sheet that we're just going to rip up and tie our legs together and do that. And what are our prizes? Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, they win things here on the farm. 
Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a the see, I told you, great prizes. Great. Cookies for the animals and um, free spin ins with We should Jane. get into what? Get rid of them. They, they can only have their eyes open. No. Send the mama with them. Just send it all. Lock, stock, and barrel. High but point then person. Every night I the... couldn't sneak in and get snuggles from them in your room. Yeah, but I would actually have my room. <laughs> My my little oh we forgot you stored in the, a little coffee on the table <laughs> in the barn stalls I forgot to put our little accident last night yesterday yeah you're full of little chicken nuggets <laughs> okay you didn't tell the story we're at the feed store and I had to go pick up the shears that we she had blades. sharpened the blades for the shears and they had chickens mm-hmm. they didn't have any ducks or I really would have been on it and I was thinking ooh for the event for the event. And we happen to know the people that run the feed store. Like, I've bottle fed calves for him and all kinds of stuff. Like, Emily is sweet. We gave her some black chickens. She traded us some because she just wanted some of every color. So, anyway, Emily's in there. And I got my blades. And RJ's looking around because we had to pick up some other things. Some wormer. Um, just odds and ends. Okay? That's not the store. The feed store is not our mill. So... Our mill is where we get our feed. But our feed store is where we get our other Lost stuff. Ends. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, we <laughs> we were in there. And as farm manager, I did consult with RJ. I said, hey, you're the farm manager now. Can we have some chickens? And he goes, no. <laughs> and Emily, come back out. She was in the back. They... So many are sold, pre-sold, and then they order extras. Somebody let Moose out. Take him out potty, please. That somebody um, is named Dad. Yeah. Just FYI. There's only one somebody in the house. Come on, Moose. Moose, Moose. Moose, go potty. You have to tell him what to do. He'll go right in there. It's open. Dad will be back. He didn't put his coat on. <laughs> um. Anyway, so we're in there, and I was like, ah. Uh, Oh, go let her out to go potty. She'll come out when Dad comes in. It'll be short. Okay. Um, yeah, but since she's she's got to go potty. She'll be all right. Let her go. Let her out. Dad's please. coming in. Look. Oh, there we go. Let the cat out. Yep. Um. Anyway. Okay. Enough fussing with this. It's getting longer than I thought it would, and it's taking too long. Come on. Um. So... You're the one talking. Bye, folks. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Finish the story about the chicken. And so he was looking at the wormer and stuff, and I said, can we get some chickens? And he goes, no. So. She proceeds to ask me which ones I want. <laughs> I was like, so which one do you think is really cool? And they're all females, so they lay eggs. I only got pullets. And we only get from this particular store because they don't metal band the clips through their arm. I, I don't, or through their wing. I don't like that. I think it's totally unnecessary. And so we just don't. <coughs> um. So he goes down the road to look at the warmer. No, what was on down there that you were looking at? No, I was just poking around, waiting on you. And Emily comes out and she says, "So we've got this one and this one." And I ended up, I looked at her and I said, "Oh, they're feather footed." And we've never really had good. They've just never kept their feathers clean on their feet. And I said, "We free range, and we've never had them." And she says, you know, I haven't ever had any trouble with mine. And she had some of the kind that they had. And I said, okay. I said, oh, they're, they're cool looking. And then they had some. Look at me. <laughs> You're silly. And then they had another one, a su- something light, ramen, I don't know. It was a chicken, folks. Pretty much it's a light red chicken. It's really cool looking. Um looks like any other chicken but anyway uh and so you can't just get one chick and he'd already said no but there was only two feather footed left so if I wanted them I had to get them so I decided I was going to get them and I looked at RJ and I said can I have two more and he says I said no <laughs> and Emily looks at me and she says what is with you two I said well technically I said I went to work off the farm and he's the farm manager now and she goes okay so he's saying no I said but I'm the mommy <laughs> and she looked at me and she goes oh the mom card that's nice so we walked out with four chickens 
They're in the bathroom. They're actually in the house, so I will take care of them for now. <laughs> yeah, he's like his farm manager. It was my first override. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, come on, and you and I both know that the chickens won't affect you anyway. Truth be told, if they'd have had ducks, that's what I was after. And he ate the ducks. See, so technically it's a blessing, huh? Oh. Technically it's a blessing? I guess. All right. Anyway, so we've got, it's 8 o'clock. we got to go get animals put in pens, mm. get our event going. We start in one hour, regardless of the weather. Um, I gotta wipe down the bar, rip the strips. I gotta print out our little prize coupons. We're good, right? Bye, bye, folks. All right, talk to y'all later. See bye. Y'all.